So, you want to do things the hard way, huh? You want to preserve everyone's memories and not let all the work we've done over the course of this year go to waste? If what Ryoji says is true, Nyx is supposedly an undefeatable force. We're going into a losing battle if we do decide to let him live. But I guess you want to go down swinging, am I right? Well, I gotta admit something. I feel the same way. Let's see this thing through to the very end. I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Right now, you are all confused by the truth. But some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. She'll be at Tartarus. You must reach the top of the tower before the promised day. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus. And the world will end. If you go to the top of Tartarus on that day, you'll be able to face her. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. As the appraiser, I usher Nyx into this world. And Tartarus welcomes her arrival. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. That's why it's called the Tower of Demise. So if we reach the top, we can fight Nyx? 
Yes, but remember. From today, you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun. I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. I guess. Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But, I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya! Ryoji. Well, we finally made our choice, and there's no going back. January 31st will be the promised day when Nyx descends upon the world. But we'll be there to greet this Nyx when it does decide to make its way to the Tower of Demise. And with this meeting, we have maxed out the full social link and have the ability to the ability to create Suzano, the ultimate fool persona. The C Social League has finally reached its maximum level. We've been going at this since April, I believe. Now we finally finished it. We've forged a massive bond that can't be broken. Susano is also known as the Raging God. You made an important decision with your comrades. Your relationship with them has grown stronger and reached a new level of closeness. Well, as you'll say goes, when one door closes, another one opens. In our case, related to social links, it's like our social link sees levels up in a way because now we have created the judgment arcana so we're essentially entering into part two of our c's social link when will we level this up well you'll have to wait and find out a new year is about to begin in one month on january 31st you will be able to fight Nyx. You must reach the top of Tartarus by that day. This is a decision you have all made. 2009 is quietly drawing to a close. It was a year filled with many memories. Many memories indeed. Memories that we'll be carrying on for the rest of our lives. And I know that's what Seas is going to do as we now enter into 2010. Happy New Year, Senpai! Let's make this the best year ever! It's New Year's, but there's nothing really special to do. 
Well, you can always wish people a New Year's greeting. Like, uh, have a great year. Yeah. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just going for a walk. Uh... Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right, then. Let's go. You coming? Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girl told me the directions. Sweet! to leave Yucatan <laughs> What Happy New Year Hmm What's the matter Yori Mitsuru senpai You look hot I um <laughs> I mean Stop staring at me. Um, I've never worn a kimono before. Does my sash look okay? Fuga, you look... Wow! Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Ah, I'm so glad I came. New Year's kicks ass. Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Ow! Oh, Junpei.
You just never know when to shut up, don't you? You should know, out of all the people that you could have possibly told that to, you don't tell that to Ken. He's still a kid. He's still in elementary school. So what if he's smarter than your average little child? He's still a little kid. Where is he? Where's Junpei? Anyways, I'm gonna go give a piece of my mind. I don't think he's here. Or maybe he's hiding somewhere for the rest of the girls. <laughs> now you see the girls like that. I'm kind of embarrassed to look at them. I don't blame you. The girls look very, very stellar today. Even I guess. <laughs> I drew a paper fortune, and it read, Great luck. I'm anticipating excellent results. How could Stoopy say, 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 say such a thing to a kid? But, you know, it's nice to do this sort of thing once in a while. Let's think positive thoughts and hope for the best results. I will keep that in mind. I'll definitely do just that. Want to leave? Want to stay a little longer? I forgot you could ask Mitsuru to leave as a little shortcut. Wearing this makes me feel renewed. Although the sash makes it hard to breathe. <laughs> I wonder how those earrings are staying on Fuka's head. If they are earrings, I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's like they're attached to her hair. Maybe they're like hair clippings or something. Well, it makes her. Uh, Distinct from everyone else, so I kind of like that touch from Fuka. Is it going, Makoto? Wait, is Jufei hiding it behind or inside this donation box? <laughs> so that's what happened to him. <laughs> I never, I never searched this uh box before when it's New Year's Day, so I didn't know Jufei was hiding behind that. Okay then. I never actually realized that Jupei is absent after that cutscene ended either. <laughs> oh my goodness, well he deserves to hide where he's at right now. So since we're here in Nakanaki Shrine, we can't do much to celebrate New Year's Day. All we can do is just wander around and talk to the people that are nearby, including our doormates. I pulled the fortune out and it was worse luck. That's a hell of a way to start the new year. We never know, things could get better by the end of the year. Don't you hate getting the worst luck fortune? I feel like he's the reason my luck is so bad. <laughs> Maybe I should break up with him. Well, I mean, if you don't end up getting killed or hit by a truck or something, then you probably should break up with him. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do here. Not even the people who are running most of these stands are here, other than the, than the Takoyaki woman. But other than that, there's not much else we could do. I don't even see Ken or Koromaru. Uh. Yeah, they're not here at all, unless they're hiding too. But I highly doubt they have any reason to hide. Oh, here they are. Oh wait, there's Junpei. I thought he was... Wait a minute. Why in the world is this a dialogue box for Junpei then? Um, okay. That's really weird. How... How, how does that even work? I think somebody may have screwed up something when they were making this uh, particular setup. This particular set piece for New Year's Day. <laughs> All right then. That was just really weird. D dude, I didn't say that. Don't don't make things up. <laughs> what? But you. Okay, that's really weird. When you speak to Jupe himself, he actually can talk to Ken about this. <laughs> that's the weirdest thing. How did I never know about that before? That's so weird. <laughs> Still, I like, to, I like to imagine that he actually is hiding behind the donation box here. <laughs> hiding from the rest of the girls. That's a lot more funnier than him just being here at near the base of the staircase. And Coral's very excited that it's New Year's Day. As he should be. So we can either talk to Mitsuru to leave, or we can just straight up leave ourselves. What did you wish for, Fuka? wished for a great year. It's a bit generic, but that's what I really want. That's what I want as well. How funny. We all wished for the same thing. But it wasn't a plea for help. 
I know that we'll be victorious. We should get going. And off we go back to the dorm. And very quickly after a few days following our last expedition to finish the Harpa block, get a call from Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you of a change in Tartarus. I believe a path that was blocked is now open. I thought you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And I will stay safe. Trust me on that. So now that it's New Year's Day, the music in the dorm has finally changed. This is still the Iwatodai dorm song, but it's a remix. Now with the Lily with Determination music, remixed with the song. Or actually, I think it's just a remix of Lily with Determination, period. And when you go outside, there is more different music as well, but I think we'll save that for next time. So I want to speak to everyone here and see what they have to say now that 2010 has begun. I couldn't ask, I couldn't ask before, but is it true that all of the girls in Komodo go commando? <laughs> That's a mystery, Ken. <laughs> Come on, does it really matter if the girls do or don't wear underwear? Yes, it does. Trust me, trust me on this. You want to know that it's just a mystery for the sake of your life. You'll understand when you're older, Ken. Hey, let me ask you something. When you think of a Komodo, do you think of a of a chick with a great figure going commando, right? No comment on that. <laughs> Come on, dude, don't play dumb. Not when the girls are with an earshot of us, Junpei. You can keep your pervy fantasies yourselves, but out of respect for the girls, I am not gonna comment on that. After all that's happened, it's good to be starting a new year. Yes, it is. It's indeed good to start something new uh, in our lives. Uh. So, even though it's New Year's, we have the option to go to Tartarus. <laughs> that would be a hell of a way to start the New Year's, isn't it? The New Year's, the New Year always bring, brings new beginnings. So let's refresh our minds and do our best to defeat Dex. I'm happy that we were able to celebrate the New Year, but... This month is gonna be very important. Make sure you spend your make sure you spend your time wisely. Jupay is so <sighs> On the first day in the new year, after making our big decision, he <sighs> He's such a pervert. Indeed he is, but it wouldn't be Jupay if he was acting a little pervy every every now and then. I never understood the significance of a new year. It never really meant that much to me. But with all that has happened, now I realize it's a time to leave behind the past and look forward to the future. Everything is possible in the new year. Indeed it is, I guess. Those are some very good words to carry into the new year. See what TV has to offer now. Happy New Year, and now the first news of 2010. This 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 year's first this year's first apathy syndrome yeah, patient was admitted at 1:13 a.m. It didn't take that long for apathy syndrome to come up again in the day. So even though it is the start of a new year, apathy syndrome is still the main headline that is televised throughout the entire well not the entire world all to report island seeds so some things haven't changed but that'll be one change we can make I'm sure of it even if we're going to a losing battle I think we'll be more than up to the task to stop the fall and more importantly next gotta find some way to do it and that's gonna be it for today I think it's understandable that we've covered more than enough ground based on what we've seen so next time, we're going to start the new year by going into Tartarus. 
Yeah, I'm not wasting any time going back at Atarus and tackling what else it has to offer. Trust me, it's gonna be a while before we reach the top of the Tower of Demise, and I want to get started on that as soon as possible. It's gonna be a hell of a way to start 2010, at least in this game, but it's at least better than going to bed and just doing nothing, right? Those shadows are not gonna wait for us, so we're gonna get a head start and go take the fight to them. Until we meet again, farewell for now, and I'll leave you with this incredible music.